Hello, welcome to Emerson and our office here in Austin, Texas. My name is Kim Van Camp and I am the Delta V Marketing Product Manager for Alarm Management. In this short video, we'll be discussing Delta V Analyze, a product that allows you to examine the history of alarms in your Delta V system. But before we do, let's talk about why that's important. Poor alarm management has significant risks. And so in 2009, the industry responded with the new ISA 18.2 standard. This standard contains normative clauses for what constitutes good alarm practices, and so these are auditable measures of managing alarms. The a key measure for alarm management is the incoming alarm rate, and these are the benchmark defaults. The typical performance in the industry is far short of these benchmarks. Typically, you can see as many as a 10x uh, incoming alarm rate to uh, what is an actual optimum or acceptable alarm rate. The ISA 18.2 standard also defines what constitutes a good alarm. Basically, a good alarm is one that indicates a true abnormal condition that requires an operator response. Unfortunately, many alarms do not fit that definition, and so we have a lot of nuisance alarms that we need to address. Uh, the key to nuisance alarms, of course, is first to identify them, which Delta B Analyze will help with, and then to make the decision whether the alarm should be kept or eliminated, and then some uh, settings to uh, fine-tune that alarm so it behaves well. Here you can see the experience of one customer where over a four-month period they reduced the actual incoming alarm rate from a level where roughly a third of the time the alarms were coming in at that acceptable level of uh, no more than one per 10 minutes. And by the time they were done, they had achieved a, a significant improvement. About 90% of the time the incoming alarms were uh, coming in at that one per 10 minutes or less. Now that we understand why it's important, let's take a look at the Delta B Analyze product. To do that, we'll go to the Start menu and uh, open up the Delta B Analyze folder. You'll see that there are two choices here. An administrative choice, this is where you do your setup information. Uh, setup includes things like defining shifts, scheduling reports, and tuning the uh, configuration of Delta V Analyze to match your uh, alarm philosophy. Uh, that would include things uh, such as uh, defining the uh, definitions for the different incoming alarm rate bands. Let's go ahead and focus on the main product, Delta V Analyze. Now we're looking at the uh, landing page for Delta V Analyze. The overview you are seeing here is for the Delta V system where Delta V Analyze is installed. And rather than look at that little bit of information, let's go ahead and select another system where I've actually got a uh, considerable amount of information. I've just changed the name of the, uh, the customer. One of the things you can do is to focus your scope from the entire system to a particular part of the plant. For example, you may want to look at information just related to the operating position call reactors. The ability to define these areas is part of what you would do on that setup page we discussed. We will here pick a range of dates to work with. And now what we're looking at are the alarms. We could also have looked at events and user actions, but we're looking at the alarms and the counts by month. And you'll see that in the month of May, the a number of alarms that were coming in took an uptick. So let's focus in on that month. We've moved to a new page, the summary page, and we're currently looking at reactor one. Let's go ahead and drill down and find out where the number one uh, alarm is in terms of alarm frequency. So to do that, let's go ahead and sort our list here such that all of the units in the plant are uh, in order of incoming alarm rate. This PXO1 unit had the most alarms within the reactor one area. And within this area, this module had the most alarms. Within this module, this alarm occurred with the greatest frequency and you can even quickly get down into the raw data. So as you can see, it's very easy to trill, drill down into Delta V Analyze to identify a particular alarm of interest. Let's do that again, only look at it a bit differently. So here I'm going to use bookmarks. Bookmarks are very powerful. They allow you to capture and remember that progression of uh, filtering. Uh, they also support relative dates, so you can build up uh, bookmarks to look at things like for the last seven days. So let me go ahead and just back up here and we'll take another look at how one might uh, drill into the information. Again, we're looking at reactors one, but this time let's do things a bit differently. Let's go ahead and look at things by time. And here we see the day by day. I'm going to go ahead and eliminate the x-axis labels to give us a little tighter look. And now you're looking at the situation day by day. 
I notice here that on the 19th of the month, there was a large number of alarms coming in. And uh, you can see that there were 354 level 9 warranting alarms and so on, uh, 225 critical alarms. I'm going to go ahead and just uh, click there. And now I'm actually looking at the 19th. You'll notice that the date range has changed here. And you'll notice that things are pretty quiet from midnight. But when you get to the uh, 6 a.m. time frame, something is starting to happen. And here we see that a lot was happening. You may have also noticed these bars across the screen. These are actually those alarm rates. To refresh your memory on those, let's just take a quick look. Here they are. Uh, these are the uh, defaults that are per industry standards. You may have changed these uh, to correspond to your alarm philosophy. And again, just continuing with drilling in, we can take that uh, 7 p.m. hour where the highest alarms occurred, and we can look at things in 10-minute increments. We can look at things in 1-minute increments and continue to drill on in. So that's the power of Delta V Analyze to drill, both by scope and also by time. There's one other thing I would like to show you here. So again, let's just go to bookmarks and take a look at a page that was developed specifically for the alarm statistics that you'll be wanting to uh, show. Do that, I'll go to this page view. You'll see there's a number of pages available for different kinds of analysis. We've been focusing in on alarms on this particular video, and I'm going to show you the alarm statistics page. It is from this alarm statistics page that you can look at uh, key performance indicators such as the incoming alarm rates, priority distribution, and uh, also things like average and peak alarm rate in a number of secondary key performance indicators. The uh, other important thing about this page is that you can create on demand a report of alarm statistics. As I previously mentioned, you can also schedule these. So let's go ahead and take a look at one of those reports now. This is an example of an alarm statistics report. Again, this was constructed using some real customer information. At the top, you've got the basic information relative to the date range and the scope of the report. This particular report was for the entire plant. Here are your key performance indicators. A quick view of the timeline, followed by some priority and rate distributions. And then what follows is very powerful. What we have here are our nuisance alarms identified for us. Uh, this first one shows us the alarms that contribute the most alarms. You'll notice that quite often just a small number of sources will contribute the vast majority of all the alarms in your plant. This particular list here allows you to identify alarms that are active for very brief periods of time, fleeting and chattering alarms. Another list to identify stale alarms, and yet more lists to identify alarms that are frequently suppressed or uh, disabled. Whether it's to achieve regulatory compliance or to just simply run a safer plant, Delta V Analyze will deliver the information you need. For more information about the product, visit the DeltaV.com website and look for the alarm management link. Also look there for information on how to contact us. Thank you very much.